my Capricorn video cut off. I've been having like bad luck with that lately. My phone is overheating, so it keeps stopping. It's weird. Okay, so let me continue on this message. So um, the challenge of this situation was the moon. Okay, so the challenge of this situation is there's being some secrets or some things held back um, that are not coming out. And it's causing a lot of confusion in this situation, I feel like. Spirit, can you clarify the moon, please? Okay, there's one that popped over to the left. I don't even know what the hell that means. It's called the unknown card, which is super weird. It's like, doesn't want to get out because I asked for the moon, which being secrets. Clarify the moon, what secrets? It's saying the unknown card. So I feel like, um, interesting. Okay, so it's not wanting to answer that one. Okay, so there's some secrets definitely here. It could even be just this person's feelings about how strongly they feel about you. Um, maybe I feel like this person could just be very fearful. Um, okay, so can you tell me what your advice is, Spirit? please, Spirit? What is the advice? Okay. The Three of Pentacles. So I feel like definitely, um, with the Three of Pentacles being here as the advice from Spirit, it's saying that you, you guys need to work together. Um, maybe find the balance between the both of you where you can come to an agreement. Maybe I feel like you guys are just having a lot of miscommunication. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like, um, you know, because the Three of Pentacles talks about communication. It talks about um, community. It talks about teaching and learning, sharing and listening, teamwork, you know, a cooperation. And it also talks about there being no limit to what you can manifest together. So I feel like you, you guys definitely, this is a strong connection, I believe. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, can you tell me what the most likely possible outcome is for the situation for my Capricorn and the person that's on their mind? Wait, hang on. These cards are flipped. Let me fix these. I just accidentally clicked these. Give me one second, guys. I apologize. Um, I want you to think about a yes or no question. So um, at the end of the uh, video, I am going to ask Spirit um, your question. So it could be a yes or no question. Okay. Just go ahead and think about that question because I'm going to ask it at the end and we'll clarify with a card. Okay. What is the most likely possible outcome here? Please, Spirit. The devil. Oh, shit. Okay. So can you clarify the devil? of cups mm, I don't know I feel like this person has somebody else that's around them that is obsessed with them and I feel like this person um, it could be this other person maybe that they you know left you in limbo or made you feel like you were heartbroken maybe you feel like they chose this other person but I feel like this other person is showing up in the reading um, this person I feel like is obsessed with your person okay like stalking them and maybe that's why this person is very conflicted about coming in to say anything to you. I don't know. I'm intuitively picking up that this person is like worried to come in and get you caused or get you brought up in this drama. I feel like this person that they're with now that I see the devil. I just, when I seen that card, I just feel like this person they're with is crazy. Page of Pentacles, King of Cups. Yeah, this could have been their other part. King, this person could be a King of Cups. This could be a Cancer. Pisces or Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio to be specific. Followed by the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person, because this is, I went ahead, obviously, this is the other person I feel like, which is the Queen of Cups. But I feel like this person has a stronger connection with you. Definitely. I feel like this person has a, long, a stronger... Because you have the lover. So I feel like this is definitely a soulmate. And they're, you're like also their wish. You're like their ultimate wish. You're like you tick every box. that This person definitely wants you. I feel like they could have even had some sort of spiritual awakening during this moment of solitude that they've taken that hurts you. I feel like they were just trying to go introspect and feel and realize like what it is that they were going to do or how they were going to make this work with you because of this person that they're with. Okay. So this person, this is the most likely outcome, is this person's going to be bringing in this offer, offer of the cup. You know, and the King of Cups is the most emotionally intelligent. He's very good. He can hold his um, emotions back when he needs to. Um, he's very emotionally intelligent. So this person could also not be letting you see as much, how much they really truly do want you. Um, but with the Page of Pentacles being clarified by the King of Cups, this person is going to be coming in with this offer. 
because they want this new connection with you. They see it's, you know, the page of pentacles is all about new connection. It's like a beginner. It's making the plans that they have about something into a reality, manifesting new opportunities and beginnings. It's good news and ambitions. It's, you know, new career paths, new connections. But so this person definitely going to be coming in, giving you this offer because they want this relationship with you. Okay. And how are you going to feel about this uh, Capricorn? I apologize. How are you going to feel about this Capricorn? The Seven of Wands followed by the Tower. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be shocking and sudden to you. You're not going to... I don't feel like you're not expecting this, Capricorn. And I feel like um, you're going to be willing to fight. I feel like you're going to be willing to... You're probably going to put up a fight with this person too. And I feel like because they hurt you so bad. And I feel, it, feel like it is going to definitely be difficult for you to forgive this person. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles that just flew out of my deck. I'm going to go ahead and take it. I was just shuffling them and it flew out. So I feel like, yeah, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to definitely give this person a hard time for what they've done to you because I feel like it definitely hurts you. And it, it lost, you know, they, you've lost, you've lost trust in this person. Um, I feel like this person is a Scorpio because the tower is here. The King of Cups is here. They could be an Aquarius. They could be a Sagittarius. They could be a Cancer with a Chariot. But I just feel like this person, the Queen of Cups and the Devil, the person they're with could be a um, Cancer. Capricorn, uh, or Capricorn is the Devil, so that's the Devil energy. But I don't. That's not you. There's a lot of emotions in this reading with all the water being here. Um, there's also a lot of Earth here, which is obviously you. There's Pisces energy here as well. But I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles popping out, I definitely feel like this is something um, that could be very abundant and fulfilling to the both of you. Definitely, definitely feel like this is going to be fulfilling to the both of you. Okay. Uh, good, good, good reading. Let's go ahead and pull some messages from this person of what they would like to say. We'll also do the Astro Dice and roll it out and just see if any other signs pop out just for you. Right, which I read all the signs that are out here, but... If you want to, we'll ask, let's flip um, over that question and ask the question that we were going to ask um, that I told you to think about and see what your angels say. Angels, please give me the question or give me the answer to the question that my Capricorn has contemplated on and thought about. Please give me the answer to that question. Capricorn, if these messages are resonating, please hit that like button. I would so greatly appreciate it. If, and if you want to subscribe, I would be grateful for that as well. What's the answer to that question? Okay. The answer is a year from now. Clarify the year from now. Yes. So whatever question you ask, the answer is yes. And they're saying a year from now. Okay. So if you asked if this person and you were going to end up together, yes. But I feel like this, because of the situation with the person that they have in the background, this queen of cups, um, I feel like, I feel like because that person is so um, obsessive over your person, I feel like it could take up to a year. So if you're willing to put in the, the time and you, um, you know, you really love this person, which I truly feel like you do because with them being a soulmate, it's not just some small itty bitty connection. It's a very deep connection. And I feel like you guys both feel that. Um, then yes, um, it can definitely happen, but I feel like you're going to need, it's going to need, you're going to need patience for the situation. You're going to need patience. Okay. Look again. The, look, these flipped over when I did these. Yes, and look for a sign. Yeah. So it's going to be happening for you, Capricorn, very, very soon. Okay. That was just confirmation that yes, it is going to happen. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of these messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle of what your person would say if they could. But I think definitely this person's going to be coming in very soon um, to give you this um, this confirmation or this you know this clarity about how they truly feel about you, Capricorn, and that they want this. I feel like it just has something to do with this obsessive person that they're with that's not wanting to let them go. I'm picking that up intuitively. I just strongly feel like somebody's hanging on to your person very tightly, even though they're done with the situation. I feel like this person they're with is probably very codependent. They're not wanting to let go. Any other messages? Come on, Capricorn, please do it. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get them all. 
Okay. So these are the cards that I have, okay? First card that we have says, I wish I could take back my words. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, just what I was feeling. This person's very um, conflicted about coming towards you because I feel like they knew, they know that they hurt you. Okay, it says, I know exactly what I was doing. So this person could have manifested you back in your life and maybe even pretended that they didn't, but they knew what they were doing. It says, I'm so attracted to you. You came closer than anyone. I lost myself for a little while. I feel like that scared them. And maybe that could be why they chose this other person because it was just an easier option. They knew they didn't have to do much to change, you know, in order to stay with that person. And after staying with them, I feel like they realized that, you know, that that was not making them happy. That was the wrong choice. And so they're rushing back in to tell you that they want to be more friends. I want to be more than friends, it says. And I know I messed everything up. Yeah, but they're coming in and they're very hopeful about the situation with you, Capricorn. They're definitely, um, they're wanting to show you how much that they love you. Okay, what signs could my Capricorns be dealing with, Spirit? What signs could they be dealing with? We have Libra. We have Aquarius. We have Gemini. Um, Pisces. Capricorn. No, Leo. And a Scorpio. Okay? These are the messages I have for you, Capricorn. I hope they resonate. Until next time, bye.